Hi, I'm here with Craig Cunningham, who pastors here in Santa Cruz, Bolivia, and we've just finished our recharge here in the Americas. And I think it's been a great time. Craig, I really appreciate all that you and Amanda did to host. How did the week go for you guys? Well, it was our privilege, David. It was a, it was a great week. Uh, I've been coming to these recharges now for the last two years. They've always been such a, an encouragement to me. So for me, it was a privilege to give back in that sense. Uh, the week went very well. Everything uh, ran very smoothly. We had a fantastic speaker, Charles Price. He did a good job. Uh, he, was, he was an excellent speaker. And we had lots of good support from people like yourself, from Werner Swart, based in Buenos Aires, uh, and others. And we'd, most importantly, I think, we had lots of really good time together. Uh, lots of free time built into the schedule mm -hmm. so that we can enjoy that and, and really, uh, yeah, I guess take lots away from each other or, or help each other to, to work out how we do this very niche area uh, of international church ministry. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I mean, starting, you mentioned Charles. I thought he did a great job. He started off the week talking about, are we trying to trust God or please God? Mm -hmm. And I did not raise my hand to answer it. I thought, we do both. But anyway, he unpacked that very nicely throughout the week mm -hmm. in a way that was very applicable. He's been in international churches before, which helped. Yeah. Uh, the, the group times were great. I mean, we had international church leaders here from, I think, at least eight nations. I mean, I know we had from Nicaragua and Costa Rica down to, I mean, Bolivia here and yeah. Colombia and Argentina and um, Uruguay, That's a few right. others. So it's, it's this really good mix of people. So many different church backgrounds in MICN. And so I love some of our group discussion times, group prayer times, people asking questions of each other and, and kind of sharing what they've learned because none of us have all the answers but we've all learned along the way in the international church journey um, we had a great excursion one day what was that place we went to it's called la rinconada so it was just a nice uh it was an echo park uh nice uh, lots of nice trails a big swimming area lovely restaurant it was just a little santa cruz is quite a you know it's a very urban place three million people a bit dusty a bit noisy uh, this place really half an hour outside the city. We could have been in Eden itself, I think. <laughs> yeah, people Aside really from one or two it. key factors. Yeah. <laughs> no, people really did enjoy it though. We ate alligator while we were there. Right. We had nature walks and swings and a pool. And, and that was really the goal. And I think, I think that Craig and the team, also Dina and Werner, I know That's helped right. you, but really hit it well. We really want these to be a chance to recharge. And the feedback that we've gotten so far from the attendees was it was just the right amount of content mixed with recharging. So there was good, rich content, but it wasn't overwhelming. There was plenty of time for fellowship, for fun. Yeah. I'm sorry, I think that balance was, was done very well. Yeah. So we're looking forward to next year. Um, I mean, <laughs> the pastors here are so excited. I think we have the next three or four recharge locations already planned out. But next year it's going to be in Guatemala City with our friend Mark Hunt. That's right. It'll be the beginning of March. So if you didn't make it this year, if you're in the Americas and you're pastoring an international church or you're a leader in it or involved, we would just love for you to join us in Guatemala City. We'll have more information coming soon. And um, yeah, look forward to it. And bless you, Craig. Thank you again for hosting us here in Santa Cruz. It's been a privilege. Thank you.